here's an example of addition in x86 and how whenever you do an addition in a C program how the uh, CPU handles those instructions and what it does with memory so let's start by creating a skeleton for our C program and we'll just do some simple additions and go over what's happening Let's just create the real simple skeleton. And I'll just create two variables, A and B, so we can distinguish these variables when we're looking at them in GDB. And we'll just do int C equals A plus B. Real simple program. And we'll compile it and open it up in GDB. All right, so let's create a breakpoint in our main and run it. So I'll do Control L to clear the screen, and I'll use disassemble. And you can see that we just here we preserved our stack pointers and the previous frame. And you can see the first thing that we're doing is moving <coughs> a, a literal value of zero by forty-two in hex into this memory address and then uh, next we're moving this value 0 by 4d into this memory address so if you ever need to see the decimal values you can just print 0 by 42 so you can see that value is 66 0 by 4d is 77 so you can see we're moving these two numbers into this location in memory uh, by an offset from the base pointer so Again, we'll see how much, again, let's show how much space each of these variables is taken off. So this is, 66 was our A, so this is the A variable, and this is our B variable in memory. So we can do print EBP plus 0 by 42, and you can see the location in memory where this value will be stored. So let's, we just executed the next instruction so next we're going to move this value into this memory address so let's just do next die again <clears throat> and you can see that we just executed that so now if we look at this location in memory they should have the value 66 at this location and the value 77 at this location so we can do print EVP plus the offset minus 0 by XC and that's the mem this is the memory location where we just move this value. So we can do use the X function. And the format, we'll do a D format to print it in decimal. Um, and we will, there's one of two ways you can do it. You can do it by the offset, or you can just take this number here and paste it. And you can see our value 66. And I'll, I'll show you the other way as well. So you can use the register and the offset to see that value as well so you can see it's 66 so after these numbers 66 and 77 are moved into memory where these variables are um, you can see that we're moving these same values into registers so we're moving B into the EAX register and then we're moving A into the EDX register and then we're calling an add instruction on those two registers. So we move those values into the registers on the CPU and we're going to call add on those. And after they're added, they're going to move. So whenever you add the first number and the second number, the result is stored in this second number in AT&T uh, x86 format. And I'm on a 32-bit system again. Uh, so after that's done, this value in this register is moved into this memory location which is going to be our C variable so let's just do next die next die and then the next one we do is going to be our add instruction so let's do next die again so you can see that uh, these two numbers were added and it's in the EAX register and it hasn't been moved to our C variable yet so this is the location of our C variable so let's just do the next I execute that and you can see that 
the value of our addition was just moved to this memory location. So just to show that that's the value and location of the C variable, let's do print EBP minus 0 by 4. And there's the memory location of that. And we can see, if we want to see the memory location of our variable C, we can print ampersand C to get the address of C variable. And you can see that's the same location in memory. So the next instruction is actually moving the zero into the EAX return register. So this is the returns. This is what happens whenever we do the return statement. The value that you're returning is moved to the EAX register based on how um, return values are handled in x86 on 32-bit systems. We're just going to move the value zero into EAX and that's the return value. So now you have a good idea of how addition is performed in x86 uh, and using a C program to demonstrate that. Thanks.